Welcome back to the City Current Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And in this case, we're honored to talk about the power of golf with the FedEx St. Jude Championship and how it gives back to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So golf, philanthropy, and so much more. We're honored to be joined by Joe Tomek. He's the executive director of the FedEx St. Jude Championship. Joe, how are you doing? I'm good, Jeremy. Thanks for having me on. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and dive in a long legacy over 65 years. Give us a little bit of history for the FedEx St. Jude Championship. Yeah, so I've been here for for about six months. Uh, So this is my first go around with the tournament, but it has been amazing to be here. Um, The community rally and support for this tournament is is honestly unmatched from any other tournament I've worked on and and you know my previous role was with PGA Tour headquarters supporting some of the largest events on our on our schedule and while this is now one of the most important events it still has that community feel that um you know you don't really see the match of of how important it is to a community versus how big of an event it is so something really special here in Memphis with the FedEx St. Jude Championship. And and I'm excited to be a part of it for sure. Absolutely. And so it's gone through some powerful iterations from classic to invitational and now the FedEx St. Jude Championship. And so talk about what this elevated status means for the tournament. Yeah. So I think, you know, in in 2007, um, FedEx and the PGA Tour came up with the FedEx Cup and basically scheduling our season to have a start and have a a culmination of finish and that's the FedEx Cup playoffs and honestly since that was an inception inceptualized or conceptualized uh, this was the goal to host the playoffs here in Memphis in FedEx's backyard in their hometown to elevate the status and stature of the FedEx St. Jude and um, we got here and you know the World Golf Championship was a great era uh, albeit brief I don't think any of us thought it would be that quick but, um, you know, opportunities arise and you got to take advantage of them. And that's what led us to the FedEx St. Jude Championship. So, you know, for us this year, we're excited to welcome the top 125 players, the best of the best, those that earned their way here through the PGA Tour season. And, you know, that's a lot of drama. That means the entire season has been building up to this moment. And, you know, for me, what I think the 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 most important piece or or the underappreciated piece that I think we're going to realize is how much recognition and notoriety we get throughout the season. Um, You know, I was watching a tournament two weeks ago. It was a a massive stacked leaderboard, a lot of attention in the golf world. And you turn into the broadcast and they talk about a player who's ranked 126th and trying to play his way into the FedEx St. Jude Championship. And that, to me, just summarizes perfectly the the value and the opportunity our tournament has, because our players compete all year long to make it to Memphis. And that has such a cool storyline to it. Absolutely. And I think what's interesting is going from last year where it was 50 to now 125, what that means for the variety, the other names, those who are competing for those spots but it brings a lot more visibility, a lot more people to Memphis in the Mid-South. What does that mean on your end in terms of hosting 125 golfers, the top golfers? Yeah, the, the very, the best of the best. You know, I think um, last year's last year's field in, in the, the first playoff event last year was the Northern Trust in New York. And if you look at the strength of field, that had the fifth strongest field in all of golf um, ahead of the Masters or, or some of the other World Golf Championships events. We were only behind three majors and the Players' Championship. So this is one of the strongest fields in all of golf. And we're excited to use that to, to A, show off the spectacle to our fans and our community here in Memphis, Tennessee, and you know get to see some of the f- familiar names and top names, but also see some of those rising stars who crack into the you know, barely make it into the hundred because they haven't been out on tour that long, but um, are, are really going to be the next generational talent. Uh, we're excited to have that all here. And, and certainly I think using it as an opportunity to attract fans from across the mid South who don't have an opportunity to see these stars. Um, we Memphis, uh, the FedEx St. Jude championship are their closest and only opportunity to come see their stars in person. And we're, we're focused pretty heavily on making sure that, Uh, We're attracting fans, companies, sponsors from across the region and and across the country, really, um, to enjoy what we have and and what makes our tournament special. 
And I think that to me, when you look at the FedEx St. Jude Championship, it is not only just a regional draw, this is across the state. So from Nashville and beyond and across our nation and globally too, like you're talking about to put a lens. So bringing in the global tourism and definitely the national tourism is a, a powerful opportunity. And as you mentioned, the young guns and all these players coming out, it's a powerful opportunity to see 125 of the top golfers, the top names in a beautiful venue that uh, is very convenient and accessible. So let's go ahead and dive in. August 10th through the 14th is the dates um, for 2022. So talk about the calendar, the way it works. Let's go ahead and start diving in. Yeah, I think, you know, our, our August 10th through the, to the 14th, are our tournament dates or our open to the public dates, the 11th through the 14th is the competition. Um, you know, so Thursday, Friday, you have rounds one and two where you get to see I don't know, the top names that we pair them together based on rankings, which is pretty exciting. But also there's a whole lot of drama that goes on Thursday, Friday, because it, it's how you jockey for position, whether you're going to make the cut or not. And here the cut matters because it's either your season's over or it continues. Um, so there's a lot of excitement that happens on the golf course throughout uh, throughout those first few days, definitely. And then, um, you know, I think what's important to us is what the fan experience is. And so while we're excited to have golfers and golf fans out here to see their stars and see the action up close in person, we also want to make sure there's something for everyone. Um, so whether you're a family of five looking for something friendly to do with the kids or a buddy's trip or a lady's trip or, or just want to be in the action and the social scene happening that week, we would try to have something for everyone. So whether it's food partners and, and barbecue and um, special cocktails that are going on or, or activations with some of our biggest sponsors like St. Jude, AutoZone. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to have something for everyone out here and we're pretty excited to do that. Um, you know, one of those things I think is uh, August 10th, Wednesday. We're really, really excited about the 10th. Uh, first and foremost, our Pro-Am returns, which is the first time we've had the Pro-Am in the last few years. And that's an opportunity for companies or individuals to play alongside a pro the day before they tee off and you know you think about baseball you think about basketball or nba anyone any other professional sport you're not on the field of competition warming up or playing with the athletes that's unheard of and we get to do that in the sport of golf which is pretty cool so that that happens on wednesday and that's open to the public day for our fans and, and our lowest price ticket at about 30 35 dollars um and also that day, you know, talking about how we're attracting from across the region, from across the country, we're broadcast to billions of homes around the world. Um, we want to, while we're expanding that reach and audience, we want to make sure we're doing it in a way that shows off how great this city is and the soul and the culture of Memphis, Tennessee. And so we've created what we're calling the soul in one celebration. And on Wednesday, starting uh, early in the morning at about 11 a.m., we're going to kick off the Soul in One celebration with the Purple Eagle plane dedication, which is the 10th anniversary of that special celebration where FedEx has a cargo plane, a, one of their smaller carrier planes out here on course, and they dedicate it in the name of a St. Jude patient who has a, a family member, a, a grandparent or parent at FedEx. And so that happens Wednesday morning at 10, and, and we hope to have the nine previous patients out here as well as celebration of the 10th anniversary of that and that just kicks off the this momentous day celebrating the community of memphis tennessee from there we move out to the street which runs between the back or across the back nine of tpc southwind and we're throwing a good old party uh, we're bringing up food trucks we're having street vendors we're having small businesses we're having artists performances live music maybe some special appearances, you name it, and trying to show off to the city, to the travelers, to our fans, and, and to our players, what Memphis is all about, a, a diverse and, and beautiful culture of Memphis, Tennessee. And um, you know, we're really excited about that. We think that's just the start for a broader celebration in future years, but uh, encourage everyone to come out on Wednesdays as a really fun opportunity to engage with the tournament. Yeah, it is something that when you see it, it is amazing. And to be able to be up close and personal and see these world-class athletes, it gives you a whole appreciation for the sport of golf, but it's fun. It, there, it's a who's who group of people. I mean, everywhere you look, there's something to do. There's tents to go in and experience and all these things. But I mean, there's just so many ways to engage and activate that I absolutely love. 
and appreciate. Let's talk about for companies, because you do have sponsorships, hospitality tents, ways that they can leverage this for their clients and prospects. And uh, talk a little bit about the sponsorships and how those work. Yeah, I think the beautiful thing about the sport of golf is we're not in a venue. Um, you know, if you, you look out my window now, you see a bunch of tents going up and we're still 40 plus days out because it takes that long to build. But the point I say of that is, is we can conceptualize whatever we can come up with. And that's the beauty of our, our sport and our sponsorships and our partnerships is we truly create them from scratch because they are literally built from the ground up. And so on the hospitality front, we, we try to think of our products as, as something for everyone. So whether you're a small business or just a couple individuals looking for upgraded tickets, we have that all the way up to big private suites that hold 75 people a day and, and climate controlled food and beverage, beautiful interior, all that stuff on the 18th green. Um, we have something for everyone in between that. So whether it's budget, experience, size of company, um, doesn't matter, reach out, uh, talk to our reps and, and they'll talk you through the right options because we, we truly have a scale from pricing to experience that matches everyone's needs. And then on the sponsorship front, there's more than one way to get involved with the tournament. You know, there's there's certainly hospitality entertainment, whether that's to, you know, reward current customers, find new ones, reward employees or engage new employees. Um, there's always a need or, or um, you know, use for entertainment, but there's also brand awareness, you know, engaging with our tournament, showing companies or fans, whether it's B2B or B2C, that you're associated with this momentous event in Memphis, Tennessee or in the Mid-South. Uh, to get your brand out there, we can come up with something for everyone. Um, you know, whether that's that's marketing plays or on-site experiences, getting people to interact with product firsthand. Um, you know, I think our team prides ourselves on on being pretty creative and coming up with some great ideas that truly and and hopefully drive the needle for the companies and sponsors that we have. You've talked about it throughout, but go ahead and and dive in a little deeper on the partnership and the impact between the FedEx St. Jude Championship and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's over millions and millions of dollars when you look at the giving back side of this. But as you mentioned, there's a lot of special moments and personal tie-ins. So talk about the relationship with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Yeah, I think what's important to note for everyone out there is that every single PJ Tour event is set up to benefit local charities. That is, that is the organizational structure of the PJ Tour. The beauty of here in Memphis, Tennessee in the FedEx St. Jude Championship is there is absolutely nowhere where that impact is more visible than right here at the FedEx St. Jude Championship. First of all, we're one of only two tournaments on the entire PJ Tour whose charity partner is in our name. Um, then that's thanks to FedEx and their support for St. Jude and, and letting them in that space of our title name. Um, and then it's all the moments across the week, whether it's the, the plain dedication I mentioned or our players wearing patient artwork on their shoes and gloves and hats uh, to our caddy bibs that have patient artwork on them to having patients hold the pin flags on 18 as the players are coming up. There's all sorts of special moments and integrations, whether it's with patients or artwork, especially to tell that story visibly show the mission and why we do what we do. And it, it, it certainly helps my team, you know, stay centered, stay focused on, on what we're doing and what we're doing it for when at, at the end of the year, we can celebrate a, a fantastic moment. And, and this year we crossed a, a $60 million investment level or impact level over the tenure of this, this partnership and this relationship. That's awesome. What's one more thing that you wish everyone knew about the FedEx St. Jude Championship? You know, I do think um, I hit on a little bit. I, I think it's more than a golf tournament. And while we're excited to have the playoffs here and, and be some of the best golf you can see uh, and some of the biggest stars in our sport, we're an event for everyone. Um, and I want to make sure that people feel invited and, and excited to come out here as just an event that's happening in town that week. Um, so whether you're traveling in and, and getting a chance to see some golf, but also explore historic Memphis or you're a local Memphian who's never been out to the tournament because you don't you know, know much about golf, that's fine. Come out, um, yeah, explore the tournament, explore what we have to offer, whether it's the food or the fashion fan shop or you know, some of the experiences I was talking about with the Soul in One celebration 
know, Tito's Stillhouse Lounge will be out here with a cocktail bar. We'll have Commissary and Hogwild out here. We have the Andrew and Michael Restaurant Group uh, producing the Birdies and Bubbles experience for us. Uh, there's all sorts of, of activities, whether it's for kids or adults and everyone in between that whether you see a shot of golf or not, um, you know, that's how you choose to spend the day. But we want to make sure that there's something for everyone and that everyone's uh, excited to be out here because it's a social happening of the weekend. And you have cooling stations and everything else so that uh, everyone feels comfortable no matter where you are as well. <laughs> exactly. Plenty of ways to, to get in, get out of the heat have some air conditioning, grab a cocktail and, and go back out and see it. So um, definitely, definitely something for everyone. Absolutely. I love it. And it is, it is an experience for sure that uh, you have to come out and enjoy. So wrap up with contact information, website, social media, where do we go to learn more, connect in with your team and make sure that we have the full access. Yeah, FedExChampionship.com. There's all sorts of information, ticket opportunities, uh, hospitality sponsorship opportunities, all sorts of uh, what to know, where to go, purchase tickets, purchase parking, course maps, all that sort of stuff is, is constantly being updated on the website, FedExChampionship.com again, and follow us on all social channels at FedExChamp, um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, we're on everything. Uh, constantly posting updates about what's happening on the tournament, what's happening with our players, um, updates on the rankings as, as it moves around every week uh, and who's going to make it here potentially. And so a lot of th exciting things happening. Follow along on, on all those platforms and, and you'll stay informed for sure. Well, very exciting indeed. Best of luck for a huge successful event ahead. I'll be out there personally, so I'm excited. But Joe, thank you for all you and your amazing team do. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks, Jeremy. Looking forward to everyone out here.